Could you please state your name for the court? Yes, Chuck White. Thank you. Uh, Mr. White, uh, where were you on the night of uh, the shooting in question? I was at Mock Park um, for the graduation party. I got there about, you know, 3 p.m. or so. Okay. And um, when you were there, did you see Virgil McClendon? Um, yeah, yeah, I did see Virgil there. He was there. Um, you know, I've known him for quite some time. Um, quite some time. How long would you say you've known Mr. McClendon? Um, probably about four to five years. I attended, I went to Northland with him, actually. Oh, you, okay, you guys went to school together. Went to school together, yeah. So you know him pretty well, then. You wouldn't mistake him for anyone else. No, I definitely would be able to definitely recognize him. For okay. Sure, yeah. So, uh, you saw uh, Virgil there, uh, what happened then? Um, so yeah, Virgil, Virgil was there, you know, we were just hanging out. Um, he probably got there around like maybe 5 p.m. or so. Um, yeah, we were just chilling, and then that's when, you know, um, the victim here, Bernard, he pulled up, exited his vehicle, and Virg just started shooting kind of right after that, you know, pretty, it was all pretty quick. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, so what did, time. what did you do when the shooting started? Uh, when I, the shooting started, I, you know, just ran. I mean, I was scared. I didn't know, um, what was going on. I ran towards the woods and then I stopped running when the gunfire stopped. I just kind of stopped running and just looked back and then, um, I went to see who had shot. Of course. And it ended up being my boy Bernard. Mm. Um, did you happen to see what uh, Virgil was wearing that day? Yeah, I remember him wearing a white t-shirt with blue jeans um, and like some type of hat, I think. Okay. Like All right. Thank you. Um, and I don't suppose, did you get how many shots were fired? Were you able to hear shots. that? Yeah, Just there a was a lot of, of shots. Like I said, I was running. It was enough shots that I was running towards the woods. Okay. I ended up stopping. And uh, after the shooting, uh, what did uh, Virgil do afterwards? Um, after the shooting, I saw him hop in the car with some guy with like um, braids, I think. Okay. I think it was dark skin guy with braids, maybe. And could you describe the car that he got in? Uh, yeah, it was a truck. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I can remember. Really, the truck? truck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you happen to know what color the truck was? Do you remember that? Um. It's I okay. Really, you know. Yeah, I really don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then uh, I understand that afterwards you were questioned by the police, correct? Correct. Yes. After the event. Okay. And what did you tell the police? I told the police what I basically just told you is that I saw, you know, Virgil, we were hanging out, and then um, he started firing off the gunshots kind of right when Bernard got there. Did they show you a picture of Virgil? Yes, they did. And did you identify Virgil as the man you saw that night to the police? I did. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. White. No further questions. Thank you.